Hi guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to create this effect. So let's get started. Click on this new item icon then select the color mat next click on OK. Now I'm going to select a white color and click on OK. Drag and drop this color mat to the timeline in video layer 1 and extend the layer. Now we have to place 4 photos inside 4 film strip frames, drag and drop photo 1 to the timeline in video layer 2. Next, extend the photo layer, Now from the opacity panel we have to select this pen tool then we have to create our mask properly. Move over to the project panel then drag and drop this second photo to the timeline in video layer 3. Next extend the photo layer. Now we have to mask the photo to place properly inside the frame. In this way we have to place all the photos inside the frames. Now we are done and all the photos have been placed properly inside frames. Now we have to nest all the layers that's why we have to select all the layers and then right click and select nest. We have to add a background that's why move this main scene layer 1 track above now move over to the project panel then drag and drop this color map to the timeline in video layer 1. Next select this main scene layer and move over to the effect controls panel. Now we have to create a mask in this layer. From the opacity panel we have to select create 4 point polygon mask to create our mask. Select 2 of the corners. As you can see both of these corners are filled in solid blue. At this point click and press shift and it will lock into place. Drag it over just like that in the same way expand the other side. Select 2 of the corners as you can see both of these corners are filled in solid blue. At this point we have to click and press shift and it will lock into place. Drag it over just like that in the same way we have to expand all sides. Move over to the effects panel to add an effect. This is an offset effect. Drag and drop this offset effect to this main scene layer. Next move over to the effect controls panel. And move the playhead to the beginning of the layer. After that from the offset effect we have to click on the stopwatch icon of the shift center to enable the first keyframe. Then move the playhead 60 frames forward and then make the X position value around 3370. Next right click on this second keyframe and then select ease in. Again right click on this first keyframe and then select ease out. Now we have to open the graph panel. Next select the second keyframe and move this handle to the left. Move the playhead 15 frames forward then click on this icon to enable the third keyframe. After that we have to move the playhead at 6 seconds and 7 frames. Then click on this icon to enable the last keyframe. After that make the X position value around 960. Open the graph panel then select this last keyframe and now move this handle to the left. Next move over to the project panel and create an adjustment layer. Next drag and drop this adjustment layer to the timeline in video layer 3. Next select this adjustment layer and move over to the effects panel to add a transform effect. Drag and drop this transform effect to the adjustment layer and then move over to the effect controls panel. Move the playhead at 1 second then from the transform effect click on the stopwatch icon of the scale to enable the first keyframe. After that move the playhead 40 frames forward and then make the scale value around 190. Next right click on this second keyframe and then select ease in. Again right click on this first keyframe and then select ease out. Then we have to open the graph panel and select the second keyframe and move this handle to the left. After that move the playhead to the beginning of the layer then click on this stopwatch icon of the rotation to enable the first keyframe. Then move the playhead 60 frames forward and click on this icon to enable the second keyframe and make the rotation value around 4. Next right click on this second keyframe and then select ease in. Again right click on this first keyframe and then select ease out. Then we have to open the graph panel and select the second keyframe and move this handle to the left. Then move the playhead 15 frames forward and click on this icon to enable the third keyframe. Finally move the playhead at 4 seconds and 3 frames. Then click on this icon to enable the fourth keyframe and make the rotation value 0. Next we have to open the graph panel now select the last keyframe and move this handle to the left. Now we are done. Now we have to select this main scene layer and make the scale value around 85. Now you can see the changes in the program monitor. Now we are done.